Welcome back to Language Mantras. This time, this is Tidbits 18. And uh, we have to discuss how to accommodate two different types of languages. Two different types of languages. One is the language we speak in, maybe English, maybe French, maybe Hindi. And another language that we want to discuss here is the language of mathematics. A student of mathematics normally uses more figures and symbols and uh, some science students also do this and they use less words. Whereas those who are uh, not scientists or mathematicians use more words and less figures and symbols. So what happens? Sometimes, suppose you are writing a letter, you are writing a diary, or you are writing a, an article for a newspaper, or you are writing uh, an answer to your question, or you are doing some higher studies and writing your dissertation. In these cases, frequently you may refer to some figures. In that case, it is necessary to know how to use them. We have just 10 points here. If you want elaboration, you can go to the text and see there are numerous examples for further clarification. But these 10 points we will discuss here, not at all difficult. Once you listen to them, I think you can remember easily. So let's start. Number one, spell out one digit number. Spell out means write in words. One digit number. One, two, nine. This is one digit number. Like O N E one T W O two etc. You have to write in words. If it is one digit number. If it is more than that, then what will happen? You have to write in figures like this. Twelve. One two. One zero one. One two five zero. Two zero two two six. Five five zero eight nine. Zero. Some exceptions are there. Uh, airlines timetable or railway timetable or scoreboard of any sports or games, you will find figures are there. Whether it is one digit or two digit does not matter much. So this is exceptions. But we are talking about formal writing. Okay, come to the point number two. Never begin a sentence with a numerical. Don't say 1889 is the year in which Charlie Chaplin was born. Don't write a sentence like this. Restructure. In the year 1889 Charlie Chaplin was born or Charlie Chaplin was born in 1889. So simple. Just restructure it. Don't use the figure in the beginning. That is the main issue. There is no grammatical mistake here, but it's a matter of convention. Now come to the point number three. Jets. Numerical and mixed. Both ways you can do it. We have a separate you know, session on dates. That is tidbits 14. If you are interested, there are several ways in which you can write dates. But here we have given two most popular points. One is 27, 1, 2022, all in figure. And another one is there, 27, January, 2022. That January part is written in wood, written as a wood and 27 and 2022 left as numerals. So these are the simplest way of writing jets. Now come to the next one, year. In figures only, whatever year it is, maybe uh, 1453, 1855, 1914 or 2022, just figure, no words required. Okay, come to the next point. Decades. Decades mean 10 years together. So when I say 1880, actually I refer to just one year, 1880. 
and 1880 is the beginning of a decade. So is 1860, 1940, 1920. This is the beginning of a decade. So how to cover 10 years together? Just add an S. This S is a letter. It is not a mathematical sign. It's a letter. Therefore, 1980s makes it a combination of 10 years. So 2020s, see, 1940s, 1930s. This way you can write decades. Now come to the next point, centuries. Centuries means 100 years together. You have two options, either 20th century, like this, 20th century, 20 then th, then century in word, or 20th century all in words. Now come to the next point, two figures are coming together, confusing, two figures coming together side by side like four three-legged chairs four then three-legged chairs it may become 43 if you are not careful so in that case what will happen you write four in wood then three in figure and then hyphen legged chairs so three-legged chairs or any combination like this you put the figure in the middle and on the left hand side in wood and then chair table whatever so four in woods three in figure then legged chairs it is clear you have no reason to confuse here right now come to the next one that is decimals are normally as numerals okay decimals are always numerals like 45.5% or 9.99 etc. You write like a mathematician. There is no other option here. Now come to non-decimal fractions. For example, two thirds. That means three parts, two out of them. So two thirds, two hyphen thirds in words. It is possible or 2 slash 3 or 2 by 3 or 2 of 3 so you can write this way now come to the last point that is number 10 ordinal numbers ordinal numbers first second third fourth these are ordinal numbers second phase this is second to end the second so second then phase so you write second in a combination of figure and say letter 2nd then phase in wood and uh, second phase this is also possible second phase all in woods and 20th century 20th 2 th then century in woods or you can write 20th century all in woods now mixed for big figures 7500 means 7500 in that case it becomes a big number so if you go to write this one it will become longer so for the sake of time and space you have to use like this 7500th that means uh, 7500 that's all so these are the main 10 points and further clarification and examples are given in the text so you know clarity and consistency will be the main objectives and your writings would be better appreciated so hope uh, you would like this session and uh, thank you very much for watching the full video okay then have a nice time